This demonstration is to show us the necessity of using small amounts of air to create foam in foam drilling situations. Usually people use too much air. Well, we're set up with our drilling rig here today, and we're going to see if we can drill this sand using air. I have my air compressor, and we're ready to go. So if we plug in the compressor, we're creating air. Here's our air line for our drill rig. We get this running. We have air. We don't have enough air by itself to even move any of the sand in the tube. So let's see what happens when we add foam. We have an injection pump. We'll add water to that. We have quick foam. And we'll add about 2% by volume of our foaming agent. Connect the injection pump. Pressure it up. Start the flow of foaming agent into the airstream, bubbles out of the line, start injecting. I can hear the sound of my air has changed. And as we allow this a second to create our foam, Adjust the foam flow or injection a little bit. We create a foam column that starts to lift these cuttings out of the hole. It does not take a lot of air to create a foam column. Foam bubbles do the lifting for us. They have the capability of moving cuttings to the surface. As we can see, as we're adding a little bit of air, just a small aquarium pump in our case here, we create foam, we get lift, we're carrying cuttings out of our well bore. If I really crank up the compressor, we start to blow air through the column a little bit, and we lose some of our ability to lift. We also have the option if we can make foam using a defoamer, we can get rid of it. 